Hello and welcome to the book of Amos. Uh, Amos, a little bit about him, is a shepherd. Uh, he's also a fig tree farmer. He lives on the border between northern Israel and southern Judah. And it had to have been a mess living where he was. Um, northern Israel was led by King Jeroboam II. But to lovers of God, he was one of the worst kings ever. He allowed idolatry and injustice everywhere. And Amos couldn't take it any longer. He got fed up with it. So Amos goes to the city called Bethel. It's a prominent city. And he begins speaking judgment, the judgment of God, onto the people. So this book is a collection of sermons and poems and visions of the prophet Amos. So let's get started in Amos chapter 1 in the Good News translation. These are the words of Amos, a shepherd from the town of Tekoa, two years before the earthquake when Uzziah was king of Judah and Jeroboam son of Joash was king of Israel. God revealed to Amos all these things about Israel. Amos said, the Lord roars from Mount Zion. His voice thunders from Jerusalem. The pastures dry up and the grass on Mount Carmel turns brown. The Lord says the people of Damascus have sinned again and again, and for this I will certainly punish them. They treated the people of Gilead with savage cruelty, so I will send fire upon the palace built by King Hazael, and I will burn down the fortresses of King Ben-Hadad. I will smash the city gates of Damascus and remove the inhabitants of Avon Valley and the ruler of Bethadon. The people of Syria will be taken away as prisoners to the land of Kerr. The Lord says, The people of Gaza have sinned again and again, and for this I will certainly punish them. They carried off a whole nation and sold them as slaves to the people of Edom. So I will send fire upon the city walls of Gaza. And burn down its fortresses. I will remove the rulers of the cities of Ashdod and Ashkelon. I will punish the city of Ekron. And all the Philistines who are left will die. The Lord says, The people of Tyre have sinned again and again. And for this I will certainly punish them. They carried off a whole nation into exile in the land of Edom. And did not keep the treaty of friendship they had made. So I will send fire upon the city walls of Tyre and burn down its fortresses. The Lord says, The people of Edom have sinned again and again, and for this I will certainly punish them. They hunted down their relatives, the Israelites, and showed them no mercy. Their anger had no limits, and they never let it die. So I will send fire upon the city of Teman and burn down the fortresses of Basra. The Lord says, The people of Ammon have sinned again and again, and for this I will certainly punish them. In their wars for more territory, they have even ripped open pregnant women in Gilead. So I will send fire upon the city walls of Rabbah and burn down its fortresses. Then there will be shouts on the day of battle, and the fighting will rage like a storm. Their king and his officers will go into exile. The Lord says, The people of Moab have sinned again and again, and for this I will certainly punish them. They dishonored the bones of the king of Edom by burning them to ashes. I will send fire upon the land of Moab and burn down the fortresses of Kiriath. The people of Moab will die in the noise of battle while soldiers are shouting and trumpets are sounding. I will kill the ruler of Moab and all the leaders of the land. The Lord says the people of Judah have sinned again and again, and for this I will certainly punish them. They have despised my teachings and have not kept my commands. They have been led astray by the same false gods that their ancestors served. So I will send fire upon Judah and burn down the fortresses of Jerusalem. The Lord says the people of Israel have sinned again and again, and for this I will certainly punish them. They sell into slavery honest people who cannot pay their debts, the poor who cannot repay even the price of a pair of sandals. They trample down the weak and helpless and push the poor out of the way. A man and his father have intercourse with the same slave woman, and so profane my holy name. At every place of worship, people sleep on clothing that they have taken from the poor as security for debt. In the temple of their God, they drink wine which they have taken from those who owe them money. And yet, my people, it is for your sake that I totally destroyed the Amorites, who were as tall as cedar trees and as strong as oaks. I brought you out of Egypt, led you through the desert of, for forty years, and gave you the land of the Amorites to be your own. 
I chose some of your sons to be prophets and some of your young men to be Nazarites. Isn't this true, people of Israel? I, the Lord, have spoken. But you made the Nazarites drink wine and ordered the prophets not to speak my message. And now I will crush you to the ground and you will groan like a cart loaded with grain. Not even fast runners will escape. Strong men will lose their strength and soldiers will not be able to save their own lives. Archers will stand their ground. Fast runners will not get away and men on horses will not escape with their lives. On that day, even the bravest soldiers will drop their weapons and run. The Lord has spoken. People of Israel, listen to this message which the Lord has spoken about you. The entire nation that he brought out of Egypt. Of all the nations on earth, you are the only one I have known and cared for. That is what makes your sins so terrible. That is why I must punish you for them. Do two people start traveling together without arranging to meet? Does a lion roar in the forest unless he has found a victim? Does a young lion growl in his den unless he has caught something? Does a bird get caught in a trap if the trap has not been baited? Does a trap spring unless something sets it off? Does the war trumpet sound in a city without making the people afraid? Does disaster strike a city unless the Lord sends it? The sovereign Lord never does anything without revealing his plans to his servants, the prophets. When a lion roars, who can keep from being afraid? When the sovereign Lord speaks, who can keep from proclaiming his message? Announce to those who live in the palaces of Egypt and Ashdod. Gather together in the hills around Samaria and see the great disorder and the crimes being committed there. The Lord said these people fill their mansions with things like taken by crime and violence. They don't even know how to be honest. And so an enemy will surround their land, destroy their defenses, and plunder their mansions. The Lord says as a shepherd recovers only two legs of an ear or an ear of a sheep that a lion has eaten, so only a few will survive of Samaria's people who now recline on luxurious couches. Listen now and warn the descendants of Jacob, says the Sovereign Lord Almighty. On the day when I punish the people of Israel for their sins, I will destroy the altars of Bethel. The corners of every altar will be broken off and will fall to the ground. I will destroy winter houses and summer houses. The houses decorated with ivory will fall in ruins. Every large house will be destroyed. Listen to this, you women of Samaria, who grow fat like the well-fed cows of Bashan, who mistreat the weak, oppress the poor, and demand that your husbands keep you supplied with liquor. As the Sovereign Lord is holy, he has promised, the days will come when they will drag you away with hooks. Every one of you will be like a fish on a hook. You will be dragged to the nearest break in the wall and thrown out. The Sovereign Lord says, People of Israel, go to the holy place of Bethel and sin, if you must. Go to Gilgal and sin with all your might. Go ahead and bring animals to be sacrificed morning after morning and bring your tithes every third day. Go on and offer your bread and thanksgiving to God and brag about the extra offerings you bring. This is the kind of thing you love to do. I was the one who brought famine to all your cities, yet you did not come back to me. I kept it from raining when your crops needed it most. I sent rain on one city, but not on another. Rain fell on one field, but another field dried up. Weak with thirst, the people of several cities went to a city where they hoped to find water, but there was not enough to drink. Still, you did not come back to me. I sent a scorching wind to dry up your crops. The locusts ate up all of your gardens and vineyards, your fig trees and olive trees. Still, you did not come back to me. I sent a plague on you like the one I sent on Egypt. I killed your young men in battle and took your horses away. I filled your nostrils with the stink of dead bodies in your camps. Still, you did not come back to me. I destroyed some of you as I destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Those of you who survived were like a burning stick saved from a fire. Still, you did not come back to me, says the Lord. So then, people of Israel, I'm going to punish you. And because I am going to do this, get ready to face my judgment. God is the one who made the mountains and created the winds. He makes his thoughts known to his people. He changes day into night. He walks on the heights of the earth. This is his name, the Lord God Almighty. So Amos is casting out... Um, against uh, is casting these accusations out against these surrounding nations and in fact if you took a, a map 
you could almost draw a circle by connecting the dots, Edom and Moab and Gaza and Tyre and Israel. But Israel would be at the center of it. It would be the center target. And Amos draws the worst conclusions to Israel. He said, you guys... You go know better. All these other countries, all these other nations, they're going down because they, they don't know me. But you know me. And you still choose to rebel against me. You're ignoring the poor. You're selling them into slavery. You're denying, you're denying them fair treatment. Don't, don't you remember? You're doing the very same thing that was done to our ancestors in Egypt. How quickly we forget the blessings of of God. Don't let your wealth, don't let your status, don't let your ego keep you from being the person that God has called you to be. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.